Hello and welcome to VIT Community Radio 90.8 FM. This is Prashasti, your host for today's special program themed on student career development and exploration. And here we have our special guest, Dr. V. Samuel Rajkumar, Director of Placement and Training Center, VIT University. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Thanks for the invite. Dr. Samuel has an experience of more than 20 years in placements de- department, which involved having VIT as the topper in campus placements across India and private sector for the past 10 years and entering the Limca Book of Records for seven times for highest number of campus placement. It has been Dr. Samuel who has received the Best Placement Officer Award by Aspiring Minds in 2014 and have established the placement consortiums in Pondicherry and Vellore. Many congratulations on such achievements, sir. You have also published a number of papers in journals and conferences and have officially visited over 23 countries for work. It's an honor to have you here, sir. Here we are here to discuss about the student career development opportunities for the students of VIT and school students around. So, sir, could you elaborate on the process or procedure of placement that is being followed in VIT University? Yeah. Uh, first of all, thanks for the invite again. Uh, so, uh, I will talk about the placement process, what we follow at uh, VIT University. So, our center is called the PATH Center, uh, which is Placement and Training Center. So, uh, we take care of the placements for uh, both the campuses, Vellore and Chennai. The placement process is uh, a centralized process, wherein the students, uh, even from Chennai, they come and attend the selection process here. So, we register the students in the in their pre- pre-final year. Say, for example, if you are a B.Tech student, your registration will happen in the uh, when you are in the sixth semester. So, there are two... Uh, eligibility criteria which we follow uh, from the placement and training center the eligibility criteria for registering for the placement processes at the time of registration uh, you should have six cgpa as your minimum cgpa to register for the placement process so once we uh, have that uh, six cgpa we uh, have a pat registration process where the student registers registers for the selection process so for a couple of years what we have done is uh, we also allow students with two current areas uh, whether you have a um, N grade or an F grade a maximum of 2N or a 2F grade is allowed uh, for the registration process which means uh, uh, this is allowed uh, in the sense that the student once comes to the final year and the next semester he clears the subject and becomes eligible for the placement process. Usually the industry standard or the industry eligibility criteria is whenever they attend a selection process, they should have not got any current areas. So when you sit for a selection process, the minimum eligibility criteria should be six CGPA and no standing or no current areas. But we register, we give an option to the student so that uh, um, by uh, chance if they would have got a, a couple of areas, By the time they come for the final year, they would be able to clear those areas and they sit for the selection process. So once the registration is over, we do some placement and training uh, program. Um, uh, Placement and training in the sense actually we do some aptitude tests. So it's it's not a coaching what we do. It's more of a orientation before the student goes for a campus recruitment process. So typically a campus recruitment process involves multiple stages of uh, selection process. Uh, you have an aptitude test followed by a group discussion in some companies may not follow group discussion they go for a technical interview Uh, there may be again multiple rounds of technical interviews and there will be a a final HR uh, interview so each stage has got an elimination uh, policy and uh, the students get selected uh, in each round so the uh, the biggest uh, uh, hurdle or uh, the uh, break they have to pass is the aptitude test which they get administered after the immediately after the pre-placement talk so when a company comes on campus they start with a pre-placement talk so pre-placement talk is that the company tells about itself the job profile the student would uh, uh, get in case if he gets selected uh, and then uh, the CTC the, the compensation details and in case if there is a service agreement what will be his growth prospects in w- which category you would join a company and uh, what will be his growth prospects over the period of time so all these are explained during a pre-placement talk after which we have a aptitude uh, test process and um, uh, uh, in case of a student clears the aptitude process 
aptitude test process then he goes for the the next round of interviews uh, which may be technical and hr so we train the students uh, in attending this kind of test as well as interviews so we hire professionals from outside who come and uh, help them in attending the test process as well as the interviews so they come and coach them they orient them towards the uh, selection process so once a student registers uh, the registration takes place through the our uh, viit portal uh, viit uh, he gets a link uh, for uh, the registration in the student login he registers and we have our own placement portal so it is called campusinteraction.com so in that actually the students goes and registers registers in the sense he will go and upload his academic scores uh, what are academic credentials his project work internship and other details and also will upload his resume or bio data in the portal so once that is done uh, whenever there is a company comes on campus the recruitment process uh, once we do the training the recruitment process usually starts from the first day of your reopening Uh, in case of, for example we are uh, this year uh, we are reopening uh, the next academic year uh, opens on 18th of july so the first process will start on 18th of july which means the uh, again there are different categories of companies so we will slot the companies based on the categories i will tell you about the categories uh, so there are three categories of companies that visit vit for placements The first category is the super dream category. So any company that offers more than 10 lakhs per annum is given a super dream status. And companies that offer between 5 lakhs and 10 lakhs are given a dream status. So these companies are the companies that I'm talking about are the IT and IT enabled companies. With regard to core engineering companies, regardless of the compensation they offer, they are given a dream status so uh, they may offer even a 3.5 lakhs say for example a company like an ashok leyland comes for the process offers about 3.5 lakhs uh, per annum they are still given a dream status and there are it companies which we call as mass hiring companies it services companies like tcs cognizant these are all called regular companies so we start the process in july uh, i am talking about the placement process i am not talking about the internship process so um, usually what we have done is uh, whichever company that offers the highest ctc highest uh, salary that company is given the, the first lot first lot or the first day of the recruitment process is given to that company so um, last 3 years what has happened is there are a set of comp- companies which are offering uh, almost similar kind of salaries say for example there are uh, companies like disha amazon um endurance direct i paypal morgan stanley so all these companies have offered more than 25 lakhs per annum last year and uh, as you know we have a challenge in bringing all the companies because one company may come another company may not come in case if they are not given the slot one or the day one so to avoid that we have started sharing the, the all the five companies whichever company that offered more than 25 lakhs per annum we have given them a shared slot 1 shared slot 1 means the, stu- the students will whoever is eligible will attend all the five companies process the first company will come and do the process they will not announce the result so they will give it in a, once the process is over uh, they will go through the aptitude test the programming test the hr the technical interview and hr interview they will give the results in a closed cover similarly the other four companies also will do the same thing they will give all the uh, results together and we announce the results together after the fifth company process is over so just in case uh, if a student has taken more than is ge- is getting selected in more than one company the student is allowed to take uh, allowed, allowed to choose or take one offer from any of the companies in case if he has got selected in more than one company so we are able to attract uh, this company so once uh, and uh, depending on the ctc the companies that offer a lower ctc but offer more than 10 lakhs are given dates for the recruitment process after that there will the dream companies would follow so this process will go till july and august in september uh, we start with the it services hiring which we called as mass uh, hiring companies like tcs cognizant wipro and these people will come and hire and uh, the student who gets an offer with an it services company say for example tcs he or she is allowed to sit for a dream company so uh, he can sit uh, he or she can sit for any number of dream companies 
till he gets selected in a dream company so once she he or she gets selected in a dream company is is or her previous offer with an it services company like tcs or a cognizant gets cancelled so what happens is if he gets selected in a dream company and there is a super dream company which comes after the dream company which offers about 10 lakhs per annum he or she is still allowed to sit for the super dream company and if he if they get selected their dream offer gets uh, cancelled which means whichever they uh, they have got the highest offer will, will hold and they can join the company so you may have a question so um, uh, you are talking more on the it it related uh, companies where the students are getting multiple offers what if i am a civil or a mechanical student yes. so uh, uh, th- uh, to be honest actually there are not many super dream companies in this categories because na- th- to begin with the core engineering companies do not offer uh, bigger salaries uh, what an it it company offers um, the 10 lakhs package is not offered by any of the core engineering companies uh, that visit uh, the campuses for recruitments so but what we have done is actually in case of a, a student from a mechanical or a, a civil or a chemical branch if he gets into any of the it or analytics companies say for example if a mechanical student gets into a company like deloitte or a company like mu sigma which is an analytics company he or she is again given an option if there is a company like tata motors coming in after this company he would have got a dream offer typically a student who gets a dream offer will not be eligible for another dream offer but uh, to protect the interest of the core engineering students so what we have decided is we will still allow them to sit for a mechanical company so a mechanical student who has got into deloitte or a mu sigma or any other company or any other it or an analytics company he or she will be allowed to sit for a automotive company or a core engineering company that comes later and in case if they get selected in those companies they can still take the core engineering offer and this will give multiple opportunity to the student so in vit uh, we usually get about 400 plus companies last 3 years we have been getting 400 plus companies coming on campus for recruitments so the opportunities are unlimited it is the students were hard work and the uh, the the way they uh, work towards uh, getting placed is going to matter so they have to start preparing uh, to get this opportunities and they should it start utilizing this opportunities when they come for the campus recruitment process so this is about the placements uh, we also do internship placements yeah. so we have a 10 month internship program for the mtechs so they have a fast track mode um, so mtech two year mtech and mtech software engineering students can aspire to get into a 10 month internship uh, for which the placement process will happen in june when they are in the fast track mode and they can j- go and join this companies 10 uh, month uh, internship in the month of august so the advantage they get is actually the, there are companies like the bigger names like intel vmware netapp uh, st microelectronics uh, so all the top recruiters so they come and recruit this mtex for a 10 month internship and they get a stipend uh, between 10000 to 40000 rupees and in case if they do well there is about 80% to 90% of the students get converted after their internship after the 10 month internship going by the past history these students have got about 10 to 15 lakhs as their ctc after they joined the company after full time employment this is about the mtech internships btech internships also happen along with the btech placements there are companies say for example paypal will come and hire 10 students paypal will give uh, straight offers to about 6 or 7 students they also will have a set of students whom they think actually they have missed slightly uh, by a margin in the interview process for those students they offer them a full time internship in their final semester so these students also will go and join along with the placed students and in case if they do well they also get an offer after the internship this is for the btech students so the btechs will have multiple opportunities uh, they will have a internship offer they are they can have a hold a dream offer they can hold a super dream offer they can also hold an it services offer so this is the placement process we follow uh, one challenge what we face is actually some of the students who aspire to go for higher studies they still take this as a practice session so there is a rule that if a student plans to go for an higher study 
they cannot sit for a dream or a super dream company so we, we thoroughly understand the students aspiration but we need to protect the interest of the institution and also the interest of other students who are desperate in getting the uh, job offer they want to work so to avoid this actually so we do not allow those students who go for higher studies uh, to sit for a dream or a super dream offer so in case if they sit and get selected they will not get a recommendation letter from any of the professors for their higher studies so this is the rule which we have been following for a couple of years so there were uh, requests from some of the students saying that um, we haven't decided on our higher study options we will we would like to have a backup uh, till we get an admission from a reputed university abroad so for those people we say that you are allowed to sit for an it services companies recruitment like tcs or cognizant or wipro or accenture or infosys you can still take the offer and keep it as a backup just in case if you are not getting a uh, your admission in in the universities which you want to join you can still have this as a backup so this is the placement process what we follow at vit and uh, as i told you actually we usually get about 90% of the students taking multiple offers in the undergrad program secondly so post grads they go for internship and uh, placements and we get about 85 to 90 percent of them getting placed through th that as well actually all right so this was the procedure of uh, how vit the placements placement process for being followed at vit being followed. sir the placement is a word is a very hyper word for a student who comes and joins in a college from first semester onwards a lot of students have multiple apprehensions and doubts in their minds because placement is like a very big turning point for every student Right. So, how would you suggest a student to start preparing for their campus recruitment process? Yes, uh, that's a good question. Actually, so um, unlike other institutions, if you take uh, many of the institutions, so they start preparing these students when they come for uh, uh, their final year, or in the when they are in the pre-final year. If you are a B.Tech, when when they are in the sixth semester, then the institutions uh, and the students they start talking about the placements. but what we have done over uh, four years is actually see uh, just like that you cannot prepare for a placement process so uh, as you know um, the market is slowing down because of various reasons the us economy the visa issues um, the um, there is a fall in the automotive sector uh, placements um, so unless otherwise you are competitive enough actually it is going to be very very tough Uh, to get placed so what we have done is actually vit has taken a proactive issue a proactive measure in placing the students right from the, the preparing the students right from the first year as you all may be aware uh, there is a soft skills course being introduced in the first semester right from yes. the first semester so there is a lot of uh, uh, requests from the students there are a lot of uh, um uh, uh, talks being uh, going on around the campus saying that why should we prepare for this uh, for the placements right from the first year so why should i get prepared from the first year why this soft skills has come into the curriculum uh, can it not be kept for the third uh, the uh, third year and the fourth year actually so so the idea of having the soft skills in the the first semester onwards is actually the students get oriented without their knowing for the placement process so it will not be a surprise when they come to the final year when they start attending the placement process so there are multiple challenges challenges what we face so one is uh, the number of companies so we have a problem of plenty if you right. take um, uh, i don't think any other institution uh, any other deemed university has got 400 plus companies visiting in a given year so uh, given the cat schedule uh, given the diwali holidays and the winter vacation we need to have at least 3 or 4 companies minimum during the peak season which is between july and november so when you come to the final year you would see uh, you will be forced to attend interviews right starting from the morning till evening so there is no time for you to get trained so as i told you uh, in the previous question our placement process starts from the day of the reopening so there is no time for uh, you to get trained and whenever there is a, a slump in the market your placement process becomes tougher 
विच मीन्स एक्चुअली अनलेस अदरवाइज यू नो द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट और प्रोग्रामिंग टेस्ट यू विल बी एबल टू क्रैक एनी ऑफ द प्लेसमेंट प्रोसेस सो इफ द मार्केट इज वेरी गुड सो दिस दिस कंपनीज डू नॉट माइंड हायरिंग इन गुड नंबर्स एंड द एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट आर नॉट गिवन दैट मच वेटेज सो वॉट एपन्स इज एक्चुअली दे मे नॉट इवन चेंज देर क्वेश्चन पेपर्स सो इन केस यू गो ऑन गूगल इट एंड फाइंड आउट so you will have this question papers coming in uh, repeating getting repeated in the the next year campus season right and the students will be able to crack but what has happened in the couple of years is actually because of the the companies also have become choosy in selecting the students they change the question papers so unless otherwise you know the concepts you will not be able to crack any of the aptitude tests so that is the whole idea of getting the soft skills into the curriculum so that is the way we do it actually and uh, uh, there is also uh, though we call it as soft skills we have also have the programming skills being introduced in the sixth semester because most of the uh, non it companies also have made that uh, mandatory that the students know some basics on the programming so it is the preparation starts from the first year and we do it till seventh semester actually all right sir Sir, apart from this, can you elaborate on a few career opportunities that are there for the engineering students? Yeah, so engineering students, uh, the, again there is uh, IT and non-IT. Right. Uh, for IT students, uh, what has happened in the uh, last three years again is there are IT companies like TCS, Cognizant, Wipro, and for this mass uh, IT services companies were hiring in uh, bulk numbers or mass numbers, which has reduced now because of the slump in the market. but uh, that also has given an opportunity for others there are it captives it captives analytics captives banking captives consulting captives that have already come and set up their centers in uh, cities like chennai bangalore if you take there is a deloitte deloitte previously they were not going on campus for recruitment what they will do is actually they will outsource their work to some of the it services companies but these it uh, captives have already started coming on campus and they have started recruiting students from the circuit branches and computer science branches so these companies offer a salary of 5 lakhs and above so there's a great opportunity instead of placing 500 students in one company so we have started placing 50 com- 50 students in one company so you have analytics companies like mu sigma latent view all this are anal- all these are captives which have started coming in uh, into vit and other campuses and these companies are offering good salary and they are also uh, recruiting good number of students so that's for the it for the non it the there is a slump in the core engineering placements so what are we doing is actually so we are training the students uh, say a mechanical or a civil student to face the analytics companies interviews this is analytics companies also they recruit students from other branches and uh, if you are a mechanical or it or a civil or a chemical student you have an opportunity apart from the core engineering companies that come on campus So uh, they have an opportunity of attending this analytics companies interviews, and we train them particularly uh, to attend this company so that they get recruited in this company. So these companies again pay more than six lakhs per annum. So uh, we are trying to improve the opportunities for the non-IT uh, students also. We also conduct uh, uh, through the soft skills. We have this programming being uh, taught to the non-IT students so that that they get more. accustomed to the programming languages and they can also attend the it and it product companies which are only open for csc branches till now so in that way actually the opportunities though for the non it are less we are trying to improve the opportunities by having the other sector companies coming and recruiting from them actually so with regard to school children uh, i can again talk about the uh, engineering placements okay. so um, so engineering placements are still on the i side The, 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 there is a um, uh, saying that the it has gone down the it market has gone down so that will not uh, pick up and all so whether we like it or not actually india is an it hub the it recruitments will still go on so anybody who has got a it skill will definitely survive the only thing is actually it is now uh, from uh, mass hiring it has come to the skill based hiring so unless otherwise you know the skills Uh, which are required by uh, the industry it's going to be a uh, little difficult to survive 
but everybody is talking about automation and other things but the only thing is actually we can definitely get this opportunities and uh, get ourselves a good career in engineering engineering will still survive survive and uh, i don't think any in, in case if you are getting into an institution like vit i don't think you need get, need to get worried about placements actually placements will happen as long as you put up your show and you do your hard work placements will automatically happen and we are there to facilitate that actually as well all right so that was really inspiring and very uh, informative for the students listening to this show and i'm sure a lot of apprehensions and doubts would have been cleared by listening to all the information that you have given today apart from that there are also many opportunities given for abroad would you like to throw some light on that yeah so um last couple of years we have taken the international internships and uh, placement opportunities for uh, vit students to again to begin with actually we are floating this idea among the it students uh, of late what has happened is there are companies like japan um to take uh, for an example there is a shrinking population so they need a lot of it professionals to come and uh, work in japan you would have seen a lot of news about uh, japan opening up for the uh, it professionals in india yes. so i have been in uh, japan uh, about 3 months back and mm. uh, the ambassador there came and said in case if you are a it professional with uh, uh, considerable experience the getting a green card takes only one year and the work permit gets approved within 3 months so what we are trying to do is actually so we are targeting that market we are trying to uh, train the uh, vit students in japanese language to begin with okay. and uh, so that when the market is ready our students will get uh, much more opportunities in countries like japan so that's one thing so we also have uh, internships happening in us uk so there are many startups that are interested in hiring our interns so some of the interns they will work from here mentored by these companies which are based out in uh, uk and us in fact there are four students who have gone last year from uh, vit to us and they have done their internship in a uh, couple of companies there they have come back so they they will again go to uh, these companies and get recruited so we are trying to expand the horizon uh, by uh, including the international uh, internship and placement opportunities for the students so many students who come for the come to the final years will have much more opportunities than what they their seniors had so the, in, we are working on it and i think we will be able to succeed on that as well so that was really uh nice to have information on abroad because a lot of students aspire for going abroad also for their internships and placements and i'm sure my audience listening to this show will gain a lot will take back a lot from this show it was an honor to have you here sir and i hope everybody enjoyed a lot this show thank you everybody thank you for listening keep listening to vit community radio 90.8 fm this is me precious t signing off thank you